up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, select, start. Right? My name is Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. So what I wanted to do was show you guys a drill that I kind of came up with, just kind of popped into my head, and I was able to go and do it. There are some variations that you can do with this, and this is something that's definitely gonna be a good challenge. It's gonna burn your legs out a little bit, and just be a good challenge in general for your brain, uh, so your cardio is gonna get involved, and also your accuracy uh, with this particular drill. All that you're gonna need is a bunker, preferably one that you can come up over the top of. You could do this with a Dorito, it's just gonna be a little bit different, and you'll see why in a second. But you wanna have something that you can kinda of pop the top on and be able to come out the side of. The other thing that you're gonna need is a target. That target can be whatever distance you want it to be, also whatever size and whatever height. I would actually recommend that you change the distance and do this a couple times. And also, if you have a smaller target, that's just gonna make it more difficult, which is obviously gonna be a lot better for you as a player. So before we get into the video, thank you so much to attorney Kevin Sullivan for sponsoring this video. If you have a need for a personal injury or accident attorney, Kevin is involved in the paintball community, is a paintballer himself. So go to someone that is a part of our community, help build that up, right? And please support those that support the channel. So thank you so much to attorney Kevin Sullivan for sponsoring this video. If you want to get a hold of him, go over to lawkevin.com. So what you'll do in this drill is once you've selected your bunker and you've selected your, uh, your target and whatever distance that's gonna be, is you need one other person with you that is going to help to kind of mix things up a bit. All they're gonna say is either left or right. And the point of this is to kind of mess with your brain. So they might do a couple lefts in a row and then throw a right at you. And you'll see why that's a good thing in a second. What you'll do is whatever side they say for you to snap out of, what we did was a couple different variations. There was one where you had to uh, pop the top first and you had to hit the target, come back down, and then snap out whatever side it was. So if they said left, I would come up left-handed, shoot the target over the top, and then snap out the left and have to hit the target. Now we did it where you had to drop down really low. You can do whatever height it is that you would like. Another variation that we did was uh, kind of like a three shot section. So you had to come out, snap out the side, over the top, and then back out the side again. And this is where that starts to really be a good uh, leg burner. And lastly, of course, you can always do over the top, out the side, and then over the top again. If you want to throw in some other variations, by all means, go ahead and do so. You want your goal to be that you're hitting the target every single time. So over the top, out the side, it doesn't matter where you come out of. And also, you want to try to do it as quickly as possible. The whole point of the brain teaser is just that. It's just going to help kind of mess with you a little bit. You want your person helping you to mess with you a little bit to help you to be ready for things that change on the fly. This way you're prepared for anything on the field. So let's head out to, uh, to the field, show you the drill, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. All right, right. 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 Left. Right. Right. 
That one sucks. Yeah. So that's the drill. It's definitely a good one. If you want to have it where, I mean, we did five reps, so you had to hit the target over the top and the side, whatever variation it was. Um, you had to do that five different times. So if you had to take 10 times to pop the top and then three out the side, that only counted as one rep. Uh, so what's good is that you'll be able to challenge yourself and be able to help with the sides or positioning that needs more help. You'll get more reps out of that because it's gonna take you a couple more times. Again, feel free to add in any sort of adjustments. If you want to have a couple targets, you could even throw in some more with that. If you wanna do a couple more variations, you know, two out the left and then the right and then pop the top, however it is you wanna do it uh, is, is gonna be helpful. Try to be as fluid as possible. Try to snap out as quickly as you can. But remember, the accuracy is going to be the most important thing. Get that down first and then work on your speed. So thank you again to attorney Kevin Sullivan for sponsoring this video. And I will see you in the next one. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.